usage of technology in bringing about learning happening. Okay. Then you have, over the years, a lot of, you know, technology has been used in learning. It is predicted that by 2025, you know, that the e-learning market will go to about $325 billion. That's the kind of a thing. So you see, one way of dictating is happening, actually, or enabling. I don't know. We'll see what our esteemed panel will tell us. Okay. And they say e-learning increases retention by a certain point, And there are a lot of benefits of it. Learning, as all of us know, is a purpose-driven endeavor. Technology is merely a facilitator. Technology is, is the means, while learning is the end. And it's a technology which helps the end and, and doesn't drive it. Because technology cannot work in isolation. Uh, technology cannot create a learning culture. Technology can merely expedite learning or make it more interesting or improve the end user experience. It's almost akin to you cannot put a, a cart before the horse because then it will defeat the purpose. And the technology has limitations. And, and there was also a point raised in the introduction by you, Emmanuel, sir, which I'll validate. Uh, there is a study called Evolution of Work Study where about 64% respondents, while talking about what is the use of technology into learning, said, that technology has its limitation because it can be used to learn at a pace at which the learner wants to learn, which means you can learn anytime, anything, anywhere. And from an organization point of view, it, it enhances engagement and productivity. But the end result is only as a tool. Technology facilitates learning. Definitely it democratizes. Definitely it is beneficial. But as an enabler, it rides piggyback on learning and not vice versa. Current context is important. That's what I'm saying. 25 years back or 10 years back, if you asked me this question, I would have just thrown it away. What are you talking? Technology is only an enabler, supporter, but it is ultimately it's the people who makes a difference. And of course, the learning is outcome. There is no question when Pramat said learning is the outcome. There is no question. Learning is the outcome. But the point is today, is it not the technology dictating? I just want to say Pramat said I could not come because of the technology. I couldn't enter. But ultimately entered only through a technology. It's iPhone. It's a one instrument versus other. You did not come physically to argue this case. Still you are arguing through technology. So the backup days also have gone back up. Technology has got back up. Earlier you used to go for PPT. I didn't, this did work. I didn't, have, I had to put a slide. But today you don't require, you have, you would have said, you know, many other ways to, to catch up. So technology in today's context and continues to be so for next three, four years, plays a very significant and critical role. If I can venture to say, to understand the word dictate, not in a negative connotation, but in a positive connotation, it is playing an important role. It is not just mere knowledge. How do you apply? I just want to take to education. How students, children, my grandchildren are going to school today only because of technology. When I retired about one year back, I didn't think that before that for six months when I was working, I never thought that I could operate it. But that was a mindset issue. Garu, mindset time is up, sir. Once I started applying it, the advantage of technology is it has got a wide reach in a country like India where infrastructures are not there. You don't have a good teachers or good schools, good infrastructure. Education, learning, whether adult learning or kids learning can reach every corner of the India or the globe for, the, for that matter. So that is an advantage. So the word dictate is should be seen in a positive unless is, it drives it. It drives the learning. It is not, it, I, I would say it enhances the learning. As somebody said it, democratizes. Technology helps. Yeah, and technology does help. In learning, you know, learning has speeded up because of technology. It's a boon actually. It has democratized. It has brought content to everybody.
irrespective of where you are today we can connect with teachers who are not in the same geography as you are you can connect them wherever so technology is an enabler i think one of the questions uh, uh, whether it should be a support or dictate it i think the, here is the point i'd like to make is i think human mind looks for freedom and that freedom also is about freedom of getting a choice i don't want to get dictated by what i must learn when i must learn and how i must learn i think as adult learners that is a choice that we need to give right and that's what technology cannot take over and decide i mean in in giving an analogy i will want a driverless car but i want the car to take me where i want and not where the car wants to take me yeah i i you know that's something which technology as an enabler but not as a driver of telling me what i must do i don't want the shaver to decide me in the morning by its artificial intelligence whether it must shave me or not you know i i i think it's it's a choice that i would like to exercise so is it in learning all the technology actually brings in a lot to us today it has given access to a content that has never been there before it has given access to people who can teach us from wherever they are and it's about how uh, the level of technology keeps going up it can it has ability to curate exactly what i need to know it can bring in together exactly the kind of information and the knowledge that i am seeking for but it cannot decide for me as to what i need to it can help me it can direct me to sources but the choices are yet to be left to the learner it is already dictating it and we are prisoners to all that we have to fully leverage it and get it done we cannot uh, it there is no choice it telling that no i can keep technology away and i will use my traditional approach call people to the office or anything and i will start doing no it is already started